Artie. Artie, it's me. Artie. Artie. Case for two. Part five. Prosecutor is here. Yeah, you can come in. Hmm. You got here fast. There was a girl. Where is she? Uh huh. She was telling the truth about a friend she had in the prosecutor's office. I hope you don't suspect her for saying that. She's inside, sitting in the kitchen. I had to isolate her. Such a little hothead, your young lady. Well, yes. As usual. Sure it is. Do you have the cause of death? Yes. They use a blunt heavy object to smash his head. He was beaten several times. They say they had one big party. Most likely a robbery. The victim is Artie Majewski, journalist. He wrote articles about criminal topics. Do you know him? Of course, this is my area. We knew each other very well. He has asked my advice on other matters. What's that? Have you checked it? We really don't know yet, but this isn't the victims or that sweet ladies of yours, Paul. Let's wait for the experts. Probably it's the killers. Okay, I won't bother you. I'm going to talk to my friend. Good. If there's any news about this case, call me, okay? Here's my card. Sivun, Internal Affairs. I'd really appreciate it. Sure. What's that? Did you check it? Paul, I just... Anya Zueva, good girls sit at home at night, not in other people's apartments. Well, what happened here? Tell me now. It's all because of the article. It needs to be ready tomorrow morning. Already asked me to bring him photos, so I came here. I called him, but he didn't answer. I... I got into an apartment, I heard some kind of sound, and someone ran behind me, and then I saw Artie. He was lying on the floor with all the blood, and... Wait, wait, wait. Take it easy. Slow down, okay? I know that Artie was a journalist. How'd you know him? You can tell me. We... We work for the same newspaper. I see. 
Did you work on something together? Yeah. Artie wrote an article about drug addicts and I... photographed his meeting with the dealer yesterday. Did you do that? Where are the photos? I have them. <laughs> Everything is blurry and not visible, but... <laughs> okay, Anya. You'd better tell me who ran behind you. I still don't understand. Paul, I didn't see. I just heard someone ran out of the apartment and that's it. Oh, Zueva, Zueva. It's good that you were smart enough not to rush after this person. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Paul, forgive me that I called you here for this, but... It's okay, I'm used to it. It's my job. What do you think? Who do you think could have killed Artie, huh? Anya, you don't need to think about that. You need to sleep and rest a little first. Yeah, I'm afraid to go to my place. We're going to my place. It's dangerous for you to be alone. We are going to my place. Mr. Simon. Oh, Paul, where were you? I was looking for you. I was out. A journalist was killed last night. What journalist? Artie from Midday. Simon, I'll take this case, okay? I already started. I was up early. <sighs> One day you are complaining that you work too much. And now you're asking me for more, Paul. What do you say, boss? Okay, then. As you want. Just don't complain later. Yes, sir. Well, here we are. You check the right one, I check the left. Here are the keys. Don't change your mind? Will you check the colleagues? I have something else to do. I'm going to have some coffee from the dead man's stuff. Huh? I will let you know. Okay, very good. Be careful. Good morning. Good morning. Can I talk to you for a second? Of course, sure. Sorry I can't invite you inside. I have a pass. It's like Armageddon in here. It's okay. We can talk out here. Tell me, do you know that your neighbor was killed last night? Of course. I saw the body being taken out. So awful. When I think that the killer was just outside my door... Maybe you saw someone. Maybe someone came to see him earlier. Unfortunately, no. I fixed the wallpaper last night, and I got so tired that I fell asleep at 9 p.m. You know, it looks like I missed everything, but I would really like to help you. It's okay. Got it. Here's my business card. If you remember something, call me. Wait a second. Uh, why don't you ask about the friends the dead one had? I'm not sure if they were friends or enemies. Hmm. Do you know them? A lot of people used to come to party. Different people. He worked in the newspaper, you know? Yeah. But I often saw him with a girl such a nothing, who was obviously not very bright. Her name? I don't know. But he also had another girlfriend. Such a nice and beautiful blonde, so pretty. Hmm. Maybe she's his sister or just a friend. I could understand if she would be just a friend. Well, you know what I mean. But most importantly, these girls did not know about each other. Well, it always happens like this. I think maybe they finally found out and this is what happened. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Call me if you need anything. Goodbye. I'll help. I'm here. Okay, thank you so much.
You are doing great, Natasha. The text is just the way it should be in memory of a good friend. Boss, can I say something? Uh, sure, sure, you sure you can. I believe that the case that Artie Majewski started should be brought to an end, and I would like to... Zin, just wait. I have dealt with this case before. It's dangerous. It would be better if I covered this. Why would it be better? You have other things to do, so please just do them. Don't you understand it's dangerous? Artie died because of this case. Uh, please tell her. Uh, Zinia, it seems to me that you are exaggerating the danger. Anya, you continue your job if you have already started. Thank you so much. Well, the meeting is over. Back to work. Do you need any help? No, 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 no. I'm fine. It just seems to me that we'll need time to recover from what happened last night. I just need a few minutes. Okay. I'll go to work then. Mm hmm. Excuse me. Is that the way you wanted to drink coffee? <sighs> you scared me. Did you do some work instead of drinking coffee? Nah, I just think that an expert colleague is either very smart or a fool. What do you mean? Not a single suggestion of a murder weapon. Although it's obvious that he was killed by something that had been in this apartment. Second, he concluded that nothing was missing from here at all. Is something missing? At first glance, nothing. But if you look closely... Paul, look at this. Hmm. What is it, cocaine? You got it right. It is cocaine. I'll put it right back. Yeah, listen, Artie was not a drug addict. Well, maybe sometimes. So it's not a fact that it was actually the killer who took the drugs away from you. Of course not. But the fact is, there are other four statues I found here, and they are all empty. And this, as you know, it's not just sometimes. It's very interesting. So it means our brave fighter of the drug trade is involved in it? He's a drug dealer. Okay. You want some coffee? Wait. Where's the murder weapon? Oh, yes. Uh, well, look here. A stand for a teapot. So what? Well, the teapot is Chinese. There is tea spilled on the floor. The mug was broken. And... Where's the kettle? Exactly. There is no kettle. Well, you want coffee or you want tea? Coffee. <laughs> Great. Yeah, nothing interesting. Okay, another day, another dollar. How long has Artie Majewski worked for you? Mm, I think about six months or so. Did you know him well? Hmm. We don't know anyone that well, not even ourselves. But I do know a few things about my staff. I have something for you. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Here. Look. Check it out. Artie Majewski. 
What's this, his file? I always keep information about those whom I'm going to take into my team. So you can take it and have a look. Do you have one of these files for every employee? Are you interested in anyone else? No. No. Do you happen to know his girlfriend? I don't want to talk about their personal life, if this is okay with you. Of course. On a professional level, what can you say about him? I don't hire stupid people. Sergey, what were you doing yesterday from 11 p.m. to midnight? Me? I went to the cinema with my daughter, night session. It was an old movie. Was it good? Boring. Want to hear the story? No, thanks. Excuse me. I'm a wreck, I just... Uh... Even when I write about deaths, it's hard to imagine that this could ever happen to you. To someone close to you, I mean. Okay, got it. Thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, one more thing. I would like to talk to Anya Zueva. Is she in the office? Yeah, she's here. Thank you. Uh, she's working on the article. The one that Majewski was working on. Okay, excuse me. I'm leaving. See you later. Here, take this. Paul? Hello? Come here. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Zueva, what are you at? What happened now? Why are you still writing? What? Artie's article. You have to stop. If you forgot it, I don't leave things halfway. Is that clear? Now you listen. This thing is dangerous. No, you listen to me. This is my life and my job, and I won't refuse this article. Whether you like it or not, even if it's dangerous, I don't care. Got it? Very good. Very good. Let's go. Paul, wait a second. Where? To your place, to take your what stuff. What for? I am not impressed by the prospect of finding the corpse of a dirty journalist. You can't stay alone now, so you're moving to my place. Go now. They changed the code. Shoot. Oh, lady, who are you? You need something? My friend lives on the 8th. Let me in. On the 8th? Who are you looking for? Sorry, I've got the wrong address. No. No. I do know you. You are a friend of Artie Mayevsky, of course. You're mistaken. Me? Never. I remember you. Let me go. You're wrong. Leave me alone. Terrible old lady. Terrible young girl. Off. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Keep your shoes on. Paul, are you sure, huh? I don't want to be a burden. Well, I have a request. Don't clean anything. I will make room for your things, okay? There's food in the fridge and you'll sleep here. You're gonna lecture me too? I will. Hmm. Demian. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the trouble. This is Mayevsky's neighbor. You know, there's there's someone in his apartment. The door is open. Come quickly. I got it. On my way. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha
Someone got into Artie's apartment. Paul, I'm coming with you. I don't think so. What for? You said that I was in danger and I couldn't stay alone, didn't you? Okay, let's go. Simon, this is Paul Demian. Somebody broke into Majewski's apartment. There's no duty office in the station. Yes, please do. Thank you. Here you go. I can't believe it. God, thank you. You want me to call a doctor? No, it's okay. I'll be okay. My eyes are just itchy. It's so terrible. Did you see who attacked you? No. But before that, when I... Water, I'll please. Get I went out to the store. When I came back, I met Artie's girlfriend downstairs at the entrance. Are you sure? Have some water. It was the blonde. Or the other. <coughs> yeah, another one. It was another one, huh? Maybe she killed him. Police, get stop! Don't move! <laughs> Don't move. Easy, easy, easy. No, Calm please. Down. No, dude. Prosecutor's don't. office. Can I show my ID? Can you read? Did you read it? Drink the water. I was just... Did you enjoy it? You have to be here. Are you playing around with me, Lieutenant? Um, I'm Put sorry. Put your gun down. I'm sorry. Yes, Boris? Yes, Paul. I've been checking the calls of the deceased, and... Do you know which was his favorite number? Tell me. Paulina Lavrova. The newspaper's chief editor's daughter that Majewski worked for. Just wait, Boris. Sonia, go to the mm -hmm. car. I'll catch up. Go, 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 go. Yes, sir. Yeah, Boris. Listen, it's strange. Lavrov didn't tell me anything about his daughter's friendship with the deceased. And I have more to tell you. They submitted a marriage application a week ago. Oh, really? Got it. Thank you. Bye. Here you are. Hello again. I want to talk to your daughter. What do you want to talk about? About Artie and Majewski. You know, he and Polly were going to get married. Did you know that? Uh, you know, Polly doesn't feel well. Uh, can I help you? No. I need to talk to her personally. Well, okay. Come in. Hello, good morning. Hi, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Zine, hi. Oh, hey, hello. Well, what is this? That's a letter to Artie. Posted this morning according to the stamp. Just read it. Mm. Publish the article that Majewski wrote, otherwise you will regret it. I don't understand. They're not against the article, they even insist and know that Artie was killed. Did you check already what the article's about? I guess it's time to do it. Ah, oh, it's heavy. Zine, thank you, but I'll do it, okay? Anya, maybe... No, not maybe, I'll do this. Well, if you need a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Just remember, I'm always here for you. Great.
Hello, Polly. I'm Paul Demian, prosecutor's office. Please accept my condolences. Uh, Artie, he, he did so much for me. I was taking drugs. He helped me. Tell me, how did it happen that your dad had no idea about your relationship with Artie? Well, he didn't like our relationship. I see. That's why we had to hide. But did he hire him? Yes, by my request, but very reluctantly. Can you tell me what was the reason for that? I don't know. He didn't trust him. Did you trust Artie? Have you ever suspected that he, for example, might have another girl? Artie had another girl? Well, I was just, uh, saying. No. <sighs> no. Polly, what's wrong? Mm. Sergey! Polly, are you okay? No. What? What happened? Get away! Po Polly! Everything's fine, I'll call Polly. an ambulance. Uh, no need for an ambulance. Go away! I'll take care of my daughter. Everything's fine, honey. Polly, calm down, honey. Calm down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fun. Goodbye. See ya. Doesn't matter. Just look at this. This? Take a look. I know Anya, and she wouldn't tell you about the threats. She needs to be very careful now. What are these pictures? I don't know. Thank you for the warning. It's okay, I care about her. Well, I understood that. Even so. Where is she now? How do I know? Probably in the office. She isn't in the office. She said she was going to have fun. Have fun? What an idiot.
Can I help you? What are you having? Cranberry juice, please. Here you go. Thank you. Let's have a talk. Now walk. Come here, come here, I said. Well, a hardened drug dealer, sit here. Tell me what you did with uh, Artie Majewski. I have nothing to do with him. Why did you kill him? What? He's been killed? You didn't know? No. Why did you run away from me when I asked about him, huh? Uh, I swear I didn't know. When did it happen? Right after you met with him. Give me the pics. What? Here. Look at them. Here they are. Look at them. This is a setup. He didn't have any investigation about drugs. All of this was staged, and he asked me to take the picture so I could help him. All of this was a setup. Don't you get it? Are you saying these pictures are all fake? Wait, why did he need me then? For credibility. You came. That's it. You're a 100% witness. Well then, maybe Majewski set up something, but... According to my information, you're using drugs as well. I quit a long time ago, don't you understand? You sit down. We found all your coke packs at Majewski's place. He used to sell a lot. I know nothing. Who does know? Who Artie else? Artie did it. Artie and his girlfriend did it. I had nothing to do with what it. What girlfriend? Martha. Last name? I don't know her last name. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I found out so much about my dear colleague today. Don't you want to tell me anything? About? Oh, are you talking about the letter? Paul, listen, I forgot about it already. You forgot it? And you ran like crazy to detain a drug dealer without telling me anything about it? Paul, I just wanted to talk to him. Did you, Anya? Do you understand that this is dangerous? What are you risking your life for? For the article? For the sake of your wonderful job? Do you understand that it's not worth it? In fact, your job is so much more dangerous than mine. That's why I'm a man. So what? Do you think a woman should stay at home, huh? My mom was a journalist, and she always went to the end. Yes? And what happened to her? Nothing. Nothing? She was killed. Is it nothing? Do you want the same? Do you want the same end? Let me tell you something, Paul. With that temper that you have, it's no wonder you're not married yet.
Morning, sunshine. Uh, hello? Well, tell me what happened. <clears throat> Nothing happened. Everything's okay. Is that okay? Anya goes crazy. You turn out your phone and she was calling me all night. Well, you would turn it off too, that's it. Paul, Paul, why do girls love you? I don't get it. For my looks. Can't you just talk like a grown-up? Listen, Mommy, why are you even getting involved in this? Goss, let's get down to business, will you? Well, business is business. The footprint that is in Artie's apartment, it's not his, it's the wrong shoe size. The lab results are on your desk. Paul, we... we need to talk. Holly, wait, Holly. Please listen to me. I didn't know about Artie, you hear? If I had known, I would have come right away. Garrick, tell me and just don't lie, okay? Did Artie have another girlfriend? Polly. Polly, please don't. Please, I beg you, Polly. What do you care now? What's the difference? Please calm <laughs> okay, down. Okay, I got it. Artie won't come back. He's dead now. Don't you get it? Oh, look who's here. Hello, Polly. Hello, Dylan. Haven't seen you for a long time. So how are you doing? We have to go. So what's the rush? Polly and I have something to talk about. There's nothing to talk about. I've heard that you've been having some problems lately, but don't worry, I have something for you. <sighs> Take it. Don't worry, it's my treat. It won't help. <laughs> don't do it! I need help. Take it. I meant what I said. You don't have to worry about it. Thanks. I don't want it. Polly, don't do it! Just go! You can't do this, Polly! Run away! You have to go now! You little rat. Listen to me. You wanna ruin my business or what? Paul, please forgive me. I just said something I didn't mean to. Anya, you forgive me. I shouldn't have been like that yesterday. It's just that... I'm worried about you. I'm very concerned. I know that. I'm begging you not to get involved in this case. Wait, Paul, but how can I just... You will not write anything. You will go to the editor, tell the chief that you won't do this. Okay. Promise me. I promise. Peace? Hmm? Come on. <laughs> Hmm. Remember, you promised me. Yes, I promised, okay? Bye. Bye. Wait here. Paul, you have a visit. Slippery roads. I want to tell you about Artie. I know his dealers. Maybe they killed him. Why are you so candid now? Didn't get along with your friends? Or maybe they sent you here to play around and make a fool out of me. I was wrong about you. Okay, okay, wait. Tell me. Tell me. You're safe here. It was all because of Polly. They wanted her to be a drug addict again. We need to stop them before they get to her. Let's go.
Don't stop me. I have to leave. I can't take it anymore. You can't leave. You don't. You can't control yourself. You almost end up in the hospital. Someone still has to look after you. Someone? Someone, but not you. What are we doing here? Sid, don't move. We're already here. Hello. Hey. Need any help? I need to make an arrest of one drug dealer. He works on your block. Most likely he was involved in the murder of Artie Majewski. Who is he? He's the one who's gonna help us. No problem. Let's do it. Just the dealer is mine. Okay? No problem. Let's go. You, get in the back. Honey, please understand that I love you and I want to save you from anything. Save me? You already saved me. Save me from everything. It's unbearable. That's just enough. Dad? Dad, what's wrong with you? What happened to you? What, Dad? What's going on? Dad. Nothing. Your heart? Dad, come on. Wait, Dad, I'm, I'm calling not going an anywhere. Everything's no, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dad, I'm Calm. sorry. I'm sorry. Calm down. I'm sorry. Are you crazy or what? What are you doing here? I need a hit. <laughs> Please, I really need it this time. Please help, Dylan. I, I even have money. When did you get so hooked, huh? Let me show you. What did you give him? 20 grams is enough. I told you not to come here ever again, didn't I? Yes, you did. Didn't I say that I will kill you? you huh? Did. It's time. Go. What are you doing? <laughs> My shoe. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, man. Prosecutor's oh, office. Easy. Freeze. Easy. Hands on the wall. Legs apart. Okay, okay. Freeze, don't make a move. Let's see what you have here. Bingo. What do you say now? Is it not yours? It's not mine! Stay still, I say. Give me your hand. Come on. You're a rat. Let's go now. How can I go now? You're not going anywhere. Let him go, he's free. Come on. I'm gonna kill you! Shut up. Pick up the money. What? I said, pick up the money. Oh, come on. 
face down. Face down, I said. Sivum, we've got a flat tire. Get him into the car. I'll get a spare tire. Stop! Sivum, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You could get away from me, huh? Get up. Get up, I said. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. 